Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, we will explore together things mentioned in the Bible only once. This journey will take us through unique details and rare events that the Bible only mentions once. We will dig deeper to better understand the heroes and the profound lessons the Bible offers. Each question will be a window into new aspects of faith and understanding. Get ready for 15 engaging multiple choice questions that will challenge your knowledge and deepen your appreciation. It's an opportunity to engage with the Bible in a way that's both informative and enjoyable. Let's get started. Question 1. Who is the sole individual believed to have lived a completely sinless life? A. Jesus B. David C. Moses D. John the Baptist You get 10 seconds. That's A, Jesus. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. We have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus the Son of God, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. The sole individual believed to have lived a completely sinless life is Jesus Christ, as described in the Bible, fulfilling the role of a sinless high priest. Question 2. What is the only book that mentions God laughing? A. Ezra B. Psalms C. Ecclesiastes D. Lamentations You get 10 seconds. That's B, Psalms, Psalm chapter 2, verse 4. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Psalms is the only book in the Bible that specifically mentions God laughing, portrays God's response to the rebellious nations with laughter and derision. Question 3. Who was the only person to pray from the inside of an animal? A, Joshua. B. Jonah C. James D. Jesus You get 10 seconds. That's B. Jonah Jonah, chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, In my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. Jonah's prayer from inside the fish is a unique biblical event, demonstrating God's mercy and responsiveness even in the most unusual circumstances. Question 4. Who is the only prophet that God spoke with face to face? A. Ezekiel B. Joshua C. Moses D. Samuel You get 10 seconds. That's C. Moses Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10 since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. Moses is the only prophet with whom God spoke face to face. This distinguishes Moses as a prophet without equal in Israel, emphasizing the extraordinary nature of his connection with the divine. Question 5. Which is the only gospel to record the healing of Malchus's ear after it was cut off? A. Matthew B. Mark C. Luke D. John You get 10 seconds. That's 
That's C, Luke. Luke chapter 22, verses 50 to 51. And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. The Gospel of Luke is the only one to record the healing of Malchus's ear after it was cut off in the Garden of Gethsemane. This moment reflects Jesus' compassion and miraculous power even in the midst of his arrest. Adored Mate, subscribe today and become part of our community. May God bless you. Question 6. What's the only occasion that describes Jesus as writing? A. At the feeding of the 4,000. B. Being hosted by Mary and Martha. C. With the woman at the well in Samaria. D. When a woman was stoned for adultery. You get 10 seconds. That's D, when a woman was stoned for adultery. John chapter 8, verse 6. They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. Jesus is described as writing on the ground with his finger during the encounter with the woman caught in adultery. This is the only occasion in the Bible where Jesus is explicitly mentioned. Question 7. Who is the only female judge mentioned in the Bible? A. Keziah B. Jemima C. Deborah D. Sarah You get 10 seconds. That's C, Deborah, Judges, chapter 4, verses 4 to 5. Now Deborah, a prophet, the wife of Lapidoth, was leading Israel at that time. She held court under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites went up to her to have their disputes decided. Deborah is the only female judge mentioned in the Bible. She played a crucial role in leading Israel and delivering them from oppression during her time as a judge. Question 8. Who is the only woman we hear of reigning as queen regnant in Israel or Judah? A. Jezebel B. Hephzibah C. Bathsheba D. Athaliah You get 10 seconds. That's D, Athaliah, 2 Kings chapter 11, verses 1 to 3. Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead. She proceeded to destroy the whole royal family. But Jehosheba took Joash, son of Ahaziah. He remained hidden with his nurse at the temple of the Lord for six years while Athaliah ruled the land. Athaliah is the only woman mentioned as a reigning queen in Judah. Her cruel actions and subsequent downfall are well documented. Question 9. Who is the only woman to have her age, death, and burial mentioned? A. Mary B. Sarah C. Rachel D. Ruth You get 10 seconds. That's B, Sarah. Genesis chapter 23, verses 1 to 2. Sarah lived to be 127 years old. She died at Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham went to mourn for Sarah and to weep over her. 
Sarah is the only woman in the Bible whose age, death, and burial details are explicitly mentioned, providing a unique record of her life and passing. Question 10. Who is the only wife of Solomon mentioned by name? A. Nama B. Noga C. Naomi D. Noadiah You get 10 seconds. That's A, Nama, 1 Kings, chapter 14, verse 21. Rehoboam, son of Solomon, was king in Judah. His mother's name was Nama. She was an Ammonite. This passage describes Rehoboam, Solomon's son, who was king in Judah, and provides information about the origins of Rehoboam's mother, identified as a woman named Nama and an Ammonite. She is the only wife of Solomon mentioned by name in the Bible. Question 11. What is the only animal reported to have spoken in the Bible? A. Lion B. Snake C. Donkey D. Eagle You get 10 seconds. That's C, donkey. Numbers chapter 22, verse 28. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? God opened the donkey's mouth, and the donkey suddenly spoke against Balaam's injustice and made Balaam realize God's will. This is a testament to God's creativity and power in using every means to communicate his will and teachings. Question 12. Who is the only man described as naturally bald? A. Daniel B. Elisha C. Isaac D. Lazarus You get 10 seconds. That's B, Elisha. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 23. From there, Elisha went up to Bethel. As he was walking along the road, some boys came out of the town and jeered at him. Get out of here, Baldy, they said. Get out of here, Baldy. As recorded in this verse, Elisha is the only man in the Bible specifically described as bald. Question 13. Who is the only person recorded as being placed in a coffin when they died? A. Joseph B. Herod C. Abraham D. Nebuchadnezzar You get 10 seconds. That's A, Joseph, Genesis, chapter 50, verse 26. So Joseph died at the age of 110, and after they embalmed him, he was placed in a coffin in Egypt. The conclusion of Joseph's life in Egypt is marked by an extraordinary event. There is only him as being laid in a coffin upon his death. This particular act added a layer of poignancy to the story of his life. Question 14 which is the only judge known to be from the tribe of Judah? A. Ehud B. Samson C. Othniel D. Gideon You get 10 seconds. That's C. Othniel. 
In Judges chapter 3 verses 7 to 11 and Joshua chapter 15 verses 12 to 17, Othniel from the tribe of Judah and Caleb's brother emerges as a God-chosen judge. His leadership played a vital role in Israel's deliverance and territorial acquisition. Question 15. What was the only day of the year on which the high priest could enter the Holy of Holies? A. Tabernacles B. Pentecost C. Passover D. Day of Atonement You get 10 seconds. That's D, Day of Atonement, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 7. But only the high priest entered the inner room, and that only once a year, and never without blood, which he offered for himself, and for the sins the people had committed in ignorance. The high priest could only enter the Holy of Holies on the Day of Atonement once a year, emphasizing the sacred nature of the ritual dedicated to the atonement of the Israelites. Oh wow, we just went through a deep adventure with 15 quizzes. Recall questions about the only person who believed in living a sinless life, miraculous events described only once, and special people recorded in the pages of the Bible. Now, take some time to reflect on what you have learned. Is there anything you found special or meaningful? Share your experiences and insights with those around you and encourage them to try these quizzes too. Sharing and discussing can open up new and deeper understandings of the Bible. Thank you for joining us today and may you be blessed on your spiritual journey. Thank you and see you in the next video.